they are going for the search what is this so these are called language translation language translation for the technical id location i told you already success factor supports success factor supports more than 50 languages more than 50 languages sir i want a clear language information then i'll tell you there is a book uh, i told you about one book right in my previous class the book name is implementation guide where is this implementation guide uh, do, 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 do. this is the implementation guide in this implementation guide where you'll find about success factor how to employ central how to implement it this is a master implementation guide okay now overview of employee central now what you can do is you can scroll down you can scroll down scroll down yes these are the steps setting up a new account and provisioning which we did already creating a super admin yes we did already defining the corporate data model this is the one which we're talking about you click this click this link where the page will direct to the data model page guide information okay and going further going further going further do, 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 do. same whatever you can see here optional 17 steps all are written here in this document this excel document sequence all are written here nothing to worry i'll share this excel to everyone where you can use this excel for your interview purpose if someone is asking you questions on these topics you can simply tell them by seeing the this excel book nowadays interviews are interviews are remotely happening it will be helpful for you where you can use all the content at one sheet okay right so uh, important notice right so maybe you know i i'm not having much more information this document uh what i am gonna do is i'm going to introduce a new a material new document let me open the document so what is the document that is an sap uh sap learning hub material that is called sap learning hub material I'm going to introduce in my class um, the, 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 the what is this EC introduction. Yes, these are the very confidential documents. No one will share you to anyone. OK, as of it's required, whenever it is required, I'll share some of the handouts document to you and where you can use to update, upgrade your skill set. OK, now this is the uh, success factor. Right, so this is the document. Yes. So if you want to have more information about the success factor history and success factor, why it is required? Yes, you can upgrade your skill set by reading these handouts documents. OK, and how to read the XML vocabulary? Yes, this is the one. And now we are on this page. Now we are on this page today and we are following the same content. OK, now don't worry that sir, whether you are covering this content or not. No, no worries. I'm going to cover each and every minute point what SAP has designed for as a part of success factor. 51 languages. OK, country supported as of now success factor can be supported, can be implemented for 132. And employee central payroll, the payroll payroll model supports for 42 countries. So a number of data centers existed as well in the uh, 15 data centers are there. In the success factor market, OK, the main difference between the competitor of SAP and as well as the workday is about countries, payroll supported countries. Workday is not having is not going to support more than 42 countries. No, no, no. They, they support hardly for six countries, not more than that. But success factor supports more than 42 countries payroll system. Yes. This is a most advantage and the second thing is success factor is ready to support more than 132 countries legislations and under the job information portlet where you can you can define 132 custom customized countries de de design you can make it and the language it will support 51 language it will support now so 51 languages means what so here you can see that language xml language so these are the language where here i can see 42 language but here in this book says it supports 51 language so whatever the language has been missed if you want you can add here sir how to add that country language i'll tell you in upcoming classes okay for this for, for today's session please try to understand the points which are very very important points what are the important points yes so this is the location this is hrs element so this hrs element is having id this is technical id sir I'm getting confusion with this XML. Can you please tell me with an open screen? Now, in this case, what I will do is I'll jump to 
success factor uh, um, data sent i mean data model with us with uh, notepad plus plus what i'll do is i'll do unfold button here first fold all then i will unfold one by one so going down i'm talking about location right now click the location yes this is the location now i'm copying this a few lines copying the few lines okay and what i'll do is i'll take a new page here now now see here i'm trying to explain now so listen carefully so success factor uh hrs element hrs element id this is open tag this is open tag drop down close it so when you close it 10447 right so 10447 46 10446 here uh, hrs element this is the ending tag After long, after completion of uh, location, this is the starting open tag of HRS element. And this is the closing phase of HRS element. Sir, in the, you know, this statement, they can write like this as well. They can write like this as well. They can write like this as well, which means this is the open tag. This is the open tag. This is the closing tag. Sir, I'm not getting what is open tag and what is closing tag. Very simple. Let's say you are writing an essay. You're writing an essay. In essay, you are starting. When you're writing the essay, you will start some space and you'll write some, some whatever it is. Let's say there was, there was. And after completion of the entire line, you'll put a full stop, right? So, which means the paragraph has been started from this area and ended with a full stop. Or maybe the line ended with a full stop in the same way, which means these all are one single line in the same way. So, HRS element, which is started and here you can see ended. So, from this place onwards, under this place, all are belongs to only one class. One class. Now, going further. Now, from the... 10,000 from the which place from the uh, from the 6,917 onwards until 10,000 until 10,446 all are belongs to only one HRS element that is about location. This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. So is it for only for location or even for other as well? It will be there for other as well. Now I'm opening the zero zone. See here zero zone hrs element which means it's an open tag and you can find closing tag for the same you can find closing tag see here closing tag hrs element when you place a cursor and the cursor will show you automatically what is open tag this open tag when you place a cursor the system will show you the closing tag see here this is the location group open tag the system will show you the closing tag for that see here this is the closing tag and when i click the zero zone there's an open tag. The system will show me the closing tag. Yeah, which means in between, in between whatever you can see, those all are belongs to that element. That's it. So which means this is the HRS element. Yes, this is HRS element. And the below are the HRS fields. Sir, I'm not getting, I'm confused. Let me tell you. Now go to the system, success factor system. And here I told you already, if you want to create a data for success factor employee central corporate data model, then you have to use manage organization pay and job structure. Now go to the system. I'm using the same command manage organization pay and job structure. You can type a full name or else what you can do is you can type a shortcut. What is a shortcut? Click org. Pay. That's it. Click this one. Now you will get a page. Now, so now in the search icon, this is the search icon. This is a new icon. If you want to search for existing foundation data elements of corporate data model, you can search here. If you want to create data for existing corporate data elements, HRS element, you can select here. Now I'm not creating the data. I want to see the existing data. So in the search bar, I'll use the location click the location 
and take any one location. So here there are a lot many locations are there in the system. Amsterdam, Amori, Atlanta, Atlanta, Auckland. Let me click Auckland. So in the Auckland. Just give me a second. I need it in the call. Shibuji. Right. So now see here, this is the first page. Listen, this is the location. This is the location. Sir, what is this location? This location means this is called technical ID. This is HRS element. This is HRS element. Sir, what are these? The below are HRS fields. HRS fields. The below are HRS fields. Now, coming to this technical ID, this is the location. And the system, it's showing what it's showing. Yes, where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Yes, here it is. Now see here. Uh, this is open tag, right? You understood, right? Let me close it. Let me make them as one single word. Yes. Now ID. HRS element started and introduction. I location ID is equal to location. So this is called technical ID. This is technical ID. Sir, I can see here technical ID is with a small letter L. But I can see in my system that was here capital L. Why? What is the reason? Let me tell you why it was in capital letter because in the translation, in the translation, we have written capital L. Now see here when you're talking about English translation for English country translation. Now go ahead with English country. Now go with English country. Now see here I'm taking as English country. This one. I'm going to the system. I'm paste here. Now see here. This is English country translation. XML, XML language, English, EN, English, GB, Great Britain. Language translation is this technical ID should be visible on success factor system with L O C A T I one location. So this is the same, same text you are able to see in my success factor system here. See here. This is HRS element translation. HRS element technical ID translation. Sir, this is English. OK, now duplicate the page. Now I want to see for some other country, some other country. So some other country. Let me this is the third option, right? Now what I'll do is for the better benefit. I'll do uh, third one. Uh, where is my camera? It's not working. It's very, very important. I'm taking some snaps because we'll find we'll miss will misguide this kind of issues. So I'm just taking uh, to, to change language. Change language. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do, 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 do French or, or let's go to Deutsch German. OK, and just switch now see here how the the system will show to us. Now it is in German. Now it is in German. I don't know in German. Now what I'll do is I'll simply refresh the page once. OK, see this is the manage organization page job structure in German. Now click this one and here I can see here. This is keen issue all and standard flow and zero zone standout. Uh, one, two, three, four. I confuse it. I don't know. Now what you need to do is you have to understand. You have to understand location uh, translation. So go to the system location translation. This is the location translation, right? So for which country it is mm, German, German, right? So German Deutsch. Now go to the system. What is the Deutsch translation? Deutsch German. So D uh, Dutch. This is about standard standard. Go to the system standard. See here the standard. The standard means location. I can see here location. Standard. This is the translation, and you are able to see the same standard translation German Deutsch. Sir, this is technical ID. ID location. It is in English. Very good. But when you open the country of Deutsch, where you are able to see this field translation in Deutsch language, in German language, that is standard. So this is the advantage about success factor. Whatever the IDs are there, this ID never be changed, and this ID should be translated in success factor understandable format the local language 
how we will do we will write the translation here which means with a label command with a label option label means nothing but a label so this location should be labeled as standard in german language so here you're able to see here german language standard sir i want this location should be some uh, you know different country language yes you can do it that's not a problem so that is the reason you are able to see here uh, location location as a standard now you want to talk about english translation change your system to english where you'll find capital l l o c a t i o n yes how you can change the system now right click here just yes, right click here change the settings and there which home which button this is uh even i don't know the country translation of german so let me this is one two three four five fifth one two three four fifth this parake and run arm load let's me check with english us and say switch and now you are able to refresh the screen now you can see english translation exactly for the hrs element for the hrs element where you will find english translation click the location and you will find the location yes translation okay message should hey shaker good evening thanks for you know i let a long time yeah good evening rajesh yeah good yeah evening. i'm fine rajesh thank you so much how are you how is your health it's good it's good 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 yeah is there any delay joining the session you are facing any yeah, yeah, yeah. Obst obstacle yes i i was late no no no, no obstacle as such i had a meeting you know an official meeting i'm sorry for that i joined no, on half an hour late no i, I just I, I just want to check with you is there any struggle that you're facing that's it all right let's move on so now these are the translation translations translations labels labels now hri is element this is the label okay now go to the system yes sure what are this this is my technical id technical id cannot be changed in system let's say your customer is looking for location should be presented as a location group you want to change this location id location as should be a location group it's not possible you cannot change the id id will be always constant okay right so this is the location technical id and which never be changed never be changed from anyone now these are the different different countries translation label is a command used to represent the translation label xml language bs id and this is the language translation and ended see here this is the open tag and this is the closing tag this is the open tag and this is the closing tag simple right now so going further i hope everyone clear about this one anyone have any question sir what is this what is this sir what is this how we are getting this location so this location we are getting from this menu so this is a location this country id location in english language this is the location okay now sir everything is good then why we do mention here label location and why do mention here different country and the language why if you are having that kind of question really your your brain is working super intelligent level no listen why i'll tell you you know uh it's a very very hands on experience i'll tell you you know success factor system is meant for all the countries translation not for only one country it's for all the countries someone what happened let's say he had the country arabic in arabic translation one of the teammate what he did he haven't written the translation for the arabic country he haven't written the translation for arabic country and he uploaded the data model into the system everything is fine now what happened if the arabic person if we change the system into arabic language you know right how to change the arabic language go to the system and go to the settings and go to the language yes go to the change language and there you can select arabic language where is the arabic you can find somewhere arabic and switch it once you switch the language to arabic now what happen if you are not followed arabic translation for this location now system will show in which language this is 100% mandatory certification question if you are attending if you are attending uh, sap success factor 2h release 2021 exam or else upcoming 1h release 2022 even the zis certification exam if you are attending it this is the mandatory exam mandatory question 
if the country's translation is not available in the system then what will which language will be executed then the answer is default language what is the default language so here this is called default language if the different different countries translations are not available then the default language will be get executed default language will get executed this is called default language and these are different different countries languages these are different different countries languages let's move on further sir this is the location yes this is a technical id which never be edited never be changed never edit this one you will get a lot of issues okay i'm using i'm stressing this word because you will face a lot of issues if you're changing even the upper case to smaller case or lower to lower case no no don't do that okay always my suggestion don't touch this i technical id and coming to the labels you can change it let's say in my uh, in success factor requirements workshop in my workshop what my customer said that so this location should be is a foundation object should be with capital l location capital l location now this is the hrs element i need to change it how i can change it my customer said that this is success factory field location and i want my customer wants this should be in a capital location so however in the system it was showing as capital location that's fine we can use the same continue or else if the system it is in so if it is showing a small letter like it is showing as a small l location like this if you want to change this location to be capital letter what you can do is simply you can change as capital l you can change this location field will be changed to location okay clear that's it so this is the low, default language translation this is a very very important you have to change it. okay this is the hrs element so now going down these all are the hrs element as of until this one hrs element completed the first hrs element technical id completed now what you need to do is you need to go for hrs fields so the below are the hrs field now you can see external code name description status start date end date location group time zone stand hours and custom strings sir what are the hrs field now this part is hrs hrs element clear right now we are talking about the below fields these are hrs fields until zero zone Sir, how about the remaining below? These are the different, different things. Just ignore this one. This is called association, which will teach you. I'll teach you in the later on classes. Until from the code to till zero zone, all are belongs to HRS elements. HR, sorry, HRS fields. Now go to the system. Now see here, these are the HRS system. HRS fields. HRS field, HRS field, HRS field. Even in HRS field, you can find ID. See here, ID. Now go to the system success factor requirement document this one location clear i have cleared customer label clear now i'm talk i'm going to implement my success factor workbook this is the workbook so while you are implementing success factor workbook cross verify it first the success factor system field is system field is external code go to the system system field is hris field yes and success factor system field is external code same external code and go to the system external code same same and what is the label success factor is success factor label was code go to the system and what was the label just unfold this one yes label was code c o d e and what was written here and it was written as same code is there any change on it both are same right correct success factor system label and as well as sf label both are same external code neck code that's clear clear are you able to match those two things on this data model are you able to yeah. match are you yeah. once again i repeat the question are you able to match these two things system yes, field sir. and sf label on the data model it's important if you are able to yes, figure sir. it out this point then success factor is yours you are the king yes. maker you are no one is required to give you additional knowledge additional training you are the king maker that's it one is system field and sf label system field means it's a technical id and sf label means where you can see the below translation now go to the system hris field id this is external code system field and this system field called as sf label that is code sf label now this is the sub label and even you can see in my sales demo you can see code 
now this is the question this is the requirement my customer said that my friend i don't want to see this field as a code i want to see this field as a label as location code this is my customer requirement so what is this code what is the necessity of having this field yes this field is important a code is to uniquely identify the location a location and how to identify the location where we required uniquely identified number so this is the way how we can identify the location uniquely identify the location how we will do now consider the location uh, customer label location code copy of it copy the same thing and what customer wants yes this external code right he wants what he want don't change this id what you can do is simply change the code label location code this is a default label is it okay if you change this only one default label no no you have to change other the countries as well so for i what i'll do is i'll change the one country that is english country gb i'll change the english country as same location code sir how about the other countries how about the saudi arabia i don't know saudi arabia code can be so location code can be called in which language and i don't know so for this one what you need to do is there will be a document called translation requirement document workbook document where you have to ask the customer the location code can be called in saudi arabia in which which text what is the text for it you can ask them where they will provide you that text so for now why don't have any customer now what i'll do is i will simply google the translation and i will place it here now uh, what i'll do is this is the english translation i did and also i changed the uh, label as well and i will follow few of the country's translation like saudi arabia i'll remove the saudi arabia language translation and i'll go to the google i'll ask google uh, english to arabic arabic translation and i'll type in english language location code and here i got in saudi arabia translation test script copy and i'll go to the system and i'll paste it okay and now you want for uh, another country let's go for deutsch deutsch okay netherlands deutsch uh, this one not that so this is the deutsch okay let's go for deutsch translation uh, english to deutsch English to Deutsch translation. Same location code. Sorry. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah, please tell me. Standard sir, code. Yes. We sir. need to do for every country, sir, in real time. Every country. Yes. Okay. That's a good question. Every country you have to do it. And sir, how I can do it? This is the way. This is the way you have to follow. Yeah, sir, is okay. there any one option that I can do? Import all the things at one shot. It's coming. That will come later on part. first you have to learn the basics you have to learn the first you know if you want to dig a, if you want to dig a well you can do it with your you know uh, you can use some equipments and where you can dig it but of course there is a technology got improved and you can call to a JB, uh, jcp guy hey come in my in my uh, in my courtyard you know uh, in my backyard uh, you need to dig a well so you just call to that guys and they will use some machinery equipments and they will they will dig a well that's it that's a secondary part that's automation automation process but this is a standard process you have to follow this standard process okay now location code hrs element uh, hrs field i have updated that's really good sir what happens you have changed the a code label here but you haven't changed the country's language here what happened then what happened you know that country language will come default whatever you have given so let's say here i have changed the deutsch country standard code and arabic language as well location code and english language as well location code this is clear sir this is clear okay now we will do a different example next classes okay that's clear the first thing is about external code my customer want as a location code which i have completed this is the default language i have given and also a few countries like english translation i have given deutsch country translation i have given and, uh, and saudi arabia translation as well i have given that's clear okay and i did it in your project if you are implementing for only for one or two countries so let's say saudi arabia and deutsch and english let it keep the same thing and remaining countries what you can do is simply you can delete it you can delete it no worries no worries at all 
Okay, that's it. Now going further down, uh, you can find somewhere in India as well. India, 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 India. In in the in the codes here, H I India, Hindi, India. Even if you want change, you can change this one code. Now how you can change? Let's see here. English to Hindi translation. Uh, location code. This is Stan code. Stan code. Copy it. Go to the system and place it. Stan code. So this is the way how we can give it. And as of now, I don't have any customer, and uh, I don't. I I and no one will give a translation to me. So that's the reason I'm depending on the Google system. That's it. I'm just taking the translation. But in the real time, who will give this kind of translation? Your 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 the one who is giving a workbook. That person only he will give you this kind of translation. Clear? So much clear. So far clear. Nagendra, so far clear. So yes, Krishna, sir. so far clear. Yes, sir. Pankaj, so far clear. Yes sir. yes, sir. Okay, I would like to extend my session for a few more 30 to 40 more minutes. I think no one have any problem. Right? No, sir. No, sir. Right. Thank you. Right. Let's first element cleared. This is the this is a, this is one clear. External code should be visible on my success factor system screen as location code. Clear. Sir, first thing is clear, and this is clear. Location code. Sir, what about this type uh, max length required? Can you please tell me this, this, this? I'll tell you. Let me come down one by one. First thing, type string. I told you already, in every programming language, there will be data types. What kind of data the system will be holding? What kind of data the system will have it? Let's say here, um, the location code, location code, will have some data. Maybe let's say here, it may have some 0, 1, 0, 2, 3, something. Maybe sometimes location code may have Amsterdam, such kind. You know, it may have both the characters, either number, maybe on a text, which means the system will have the textual data and the numerical data. So it, that's the reason this field contains a different data. This field holds uh different type of what kind of data so this field holds a numerical and as well as string type of data so in success factor we have a data type that is called string this string contains it will holds it will it will accepts numbers and alphabets alphabets in shortcut we can call them as alphanumeric Alpha, alpha numeric in alpha numeric. So this string means it will support alpha numeric, which means location code can accept 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, or else it may accept AS yes, 0, 1. Combination of with English letters and the numbers, numerical numbers, it will accept, it can accept it. Okay, now clear. So now here my customer said that. This should be a string data type. Yes, SAP has given already string. And the maximum length should be 32 characters. Yes, the maximum length is 32 characters. How we can do it? Go to the data model. Now, 32 characters. And the by default is string. So there is nothing required to write somewhere here. The by default, it will be on a string data type itself. Okay, nothing required, no more. I mean, you, it's not required. You have to mention this is a string data type. It will, it has to contain string. No, 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 not required. Just ignore it. Okay, it's a HRS fields, all are strings. Okay, let's make it. Go ahead. So this is the string data type. Maximum length, 32 bytes, 32 characters, which means you can give 32 characters only. Not more than 32 characters. This, this field never accepts. We will do unit testing after loading the data document into the system. Okay. Now, ID external code, which is then never be changed, and 32 bits, yes, 32 characters, size I have written, and visibility and the required. These are very, very important. So these are called attributes. These are called attributes. I'm using a new word attributes. Attributes. Every success fact, every HRS field. Every HRS field will have attributes. 
will have attributes so what are the attributes i'll tell you the first thing is required and second thing is visibility visibility uh rather than writing here again what i do, what i'll do is i'll copy the data from the, my previous class mm, 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 mm. Now, let me write down. Yes, just give me a second, guys. I'll close my door so that you know the sounds won't come inside. All right, listen now. So, in success factors in data model language, XML language, we have two attributes very, very important. One is visibility and the required. These two are very key elements. What is visibility? Visibility means you want to see these fields on the SF screen or not. If you want to see the fields on the SF screen or not. Now let's say here in this data model, you can see here visibility, visibility and required. First, I'll tell you what is required. Then I'll tell you what is visibility. What is required? Required is a uh, one of the, uh, uh, it says property. And this property will have two values. One is true or false. Now go to the system. Let me explain here. Close it. Close it. Now here you can see go down. Uh, where is my page? Yes. So required will have two fields, two attributes. One is a true and false. Sir, what is true when required? Required means you are setting the field is a mandatory field or not mandatory field. In the success factor screen, uh, here in this screen, now insert a new record. I'm doing proceed. Now see here, you can see some star mark or else what I'll do is I'll go to the create new, uh, create new location. I'll go to the create new, create new, new location. And see here, you can see here uh, star mark. See here, star mark. You can see star mark. So this star mark means it's a mandatory fields. Sir, how I can get these mandatory fields by using a property, by enabling the property. What is the property? The property is required. Required is equal to, required is equal to true, which means, which means the field becomes mandatory mandatory so star mark will come the star mark will come required when you set true the star mark will come when you set required is called false star mark won't be appeared star mark won't be appeared which means it's not required optional value whether you give or not doesn't matter description there is no star mark name there is no star mark location group there is no star mark time zone no star mark stand weekly hours no star mark zero zone no star mark that's no star mark work no star mark which means those are optional but coming to the location star mark values you have to give it sir how do i can achieve it by using a property that property name is uh, uh, the field property that is called required required is having two attributes one is uh, uh, true and false and true and false so required when required is equal to set true which means you will get a star mark when required set false then you will get there is won't be any star mark okay now i'm going to this, this system sir required how do you know which 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 uh, column it will show us i can see a required i can see a mandatory field so what is this required what is mandatory i know you have to understand english language now Remember, so this required means this requirement main visibility. This mandatory means star mark required, which is a required required hash trick. Visibility means 
whether this field should be visible on my success factor screen or not. Let's say here my success factor screen system. Code name description. If you want to see these fields to be visible on success factor screen, then you have to make it visibility is equal to. The applicable appropriate action. Again, the visibility is having some sub attributes. Those are three. One is none, a both are view. None means what? You cannot see the field on the success factor screen. If you say both, if you say view, you can see that field on my success factor system, but you cannot give any input to that field. Sir, what it mean? What is input data? It's coming. Wait for some more time. Sir, what it mean? It mean uh, both. Both means view and edit, which means where you can give the input, which means this is the one. You can give the data input. That's it. This is called both. When you say visibility is equal to both, where you can give some data, you can give the data input. You can give the data input. When you set visible, when you set visibility is equal to none, you can't see this field on the system screen. When you set visibility is equal to view, this field will become gray out. You can't give any input. When you set visibility is equal to uh, both, you can get this kind of dialog box, uh, this uh, optional checkbox where you can write the data. Now I repeat once again. Success factor employee central corporate data model having two properties. One is uh, visibility property and second one is required property. Visibility is having three attributes. One is none, both view. Required is having two properties, uh, two attributes. One is true or false. When you say required is equal to true, which is a mandatory field. When I said required is called false, which is a blank, which is not a non mandatory field. When I say visibility is equal to none, you cannot see that field on the system screen. When I say visibility is called both where you can give the data and you can view the field. When I said visibility is called view where the field will be, you can see on my success factor screen, but you cannot give any data. These are very, very important. Now I'm going to the system screen. Now see here visibility is called both. Now open the requirement document. See here required visibility S. S means what? This field should be presented on my system screen. Yes, should be presented on my system screen. So not only presented, you have to give some data, right? So that's the reason I have written here. Visibility is equal to both. If I said both, where you will get the screen like this. Where you can give input data. When you change this one to from both to view. You know what happened? This box will be there, but you cannot write anything. You cannot write anything. You cannot write anything. Just gray out. Uh, it will be fade out in color and you cannot write anything here. It will come. If you want something text to be written over there, then you have to write here visibility as equal to both. And finally, if you don't want to see this HRS field on my system screen, then write down as none. This field, it won't be available on my success, success factor system, which we will use these all the cases and right now. Now let it be the same case that let we keep as a both because in my requirement document, it has said that required visibility should be presented. So I have written as a visibility is called both. Now mandatory. Yes, is it a mandatory field? Yes, it is a mandatory field. So that's the reason required is equal to false. If it is not a mandatory field, then change this true to false. It will become as a false. Now what I'll do is let it be the same. <coughs> True. OK, now so location code I have completed 32 sizes character and external code never be changed. This external code to be visible on location code and uh, this is the default language code I have given and the English language code I have given and also Arabic language code I have given and also I have given Deutsch language code as well I have given and Hindi language code as well I have given. Stan Samu, Stan code, I guess. Where is this? Stan code, Hindi. Hindi, 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 Hindi. Where is Hindi somewhere? Stan code. Translation. So, first field completed. First field completed, right? Now, enable just uh, click this one. And I, sorry, click this one. And first HRS field cleared. Now, go to the second HRS field name. Click this one, unfold it. Now this field again, go to the second field again. Second field, what is this name? 
system field is name success factor label is name now go to system system label system field is name and label also name but my customer wants this one to be location name so change the location name how to change it now simply come down here and say location and even while you are changing it make sure that what customer has written which which capital letter or small letter see here l capital and n capital so type it here l capital n capital now copy the default language and give the english translation english translation this is the name change the english translation and clear and other countries translation as well go to the success factor page and english to hindi translation uh, paste here location name uh, stan samoh and english to arabic translation uh, go to the system and first thing is english hindi translation where is the hindi translation uh, somewhere if you identify just let me know guys i know it's very toughest job jadh Hindi, yeah, Hindi naam, yes, stan stan ka naam, and in Arabic translation, uh, what is the location name? And this is the Arabic translation. Copy, go to the system, and remove this Arabic translation. Give the new label, location name, and now see here, visibility is equal to both. Yes, now see this one requirements gathering. Now see here. A requirement name okay string it's a string default okay 90 size max length is 90 now check it out max length is 90 it was 32 so how i can change now remove it 32 and put 90 clear clear next visibility is equal to both now what it was written yes required field which means it's a visibility yes should be present on my system screen so i have given visibility is equal to both now coming to the forward here and say that mandatory field is yes which means location name beside the location name where i want star mark but in the in the xml document in the corporate data model i don't have the required field now what i'll do is i will penetrate required is equal to true option two options one is write down manually how you can write give a space and write down required is equal to double quotes tru true This is the one option you can write it which means you are making this field as a mandatory so which is clear clear okay and remaining fields as well you have to write it so this is the one way where you can write down one by one one by one and there is this is a manual order there is one more way that you can do it go to the xml uh, editor table view and the translations are completed right these are the translations are completed uh now what my suggestion is first of all first save this they save this file save this file saved and again cross verify save it again save it okay now close this now go to the system now go to the downloads again i'll refresh the page again now i'll save this saved data model open with uh, xml pad Go to table view. Now corporate data model unfold it. Now see here location we're talking about, right? Labels. Now see here location and location and standard English. Location, location. See here we did something okay we are 900 let's go to the location hrs fields click down 17 hrs field first external code is an id which means it's a technical one cannot be changed 32 maximum length and visibility both you know both means what where you can where you can view and edit as well and required which is a mandatory field and this external code the label this external code should be written on should be visible on system screen what location code and i did the saudi arabic code and the Deutsch code as well. And yes. Yes. 
now going down uh, here Deutsch see here these are the changes we did right you see the changes right now go down uh, what I advise you is just unfold the label here now see for other one name 90 I have increased the size as per this document yes 90 mandatory field yes and visibility yes now what I did I have used the same uh, visibility both and mandatory field yes true now description as well so for the description what I'll do is description let it be the description same uh, do, 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 do. 128 size in size 128 in size and here I want this description to be location description copy it go to the system yeah so go to the system Shh. don't talk Shh. so now here I am having location description so the but come on this So no, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's you know when you become a single parent, when your wife uh, you know uh, with suffers with the fever, then it's a toughest challenge. <laughs> I already told you yesterday in my previous classes who are married here and who are having a kids. So you have to understand me in this point today. All right. Anyway, it's okay. Now no no obstacle. My father has taken my son. Mm, okay, let's move on. Mm, do, 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 do. Yes. So now here, uh, description and the description should be visible on location description. Click the label. Okay, and change the description. What I want. This is a default language. Change to location description. Okay, and change the English translation as well. English translation GB. English translation. Paste it. Cleared. Uh, what else? Even if you want to change the Hindi language, uh, where is Hindi? Uh, Hindi Hai Yes, Hindi. So again, you have to Google it. Uh, English to location description. This is the Arabic translation. This is Arabic translation copy and uh, da, 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 da. yes, Arabic translation cleared. And if you want other translation, you can write. You know, right? How to do a translation, right? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you are able to understand the translation how to do it. Please give me a thumbs up on the system screen. Yeah, you are with me or you are sleeping in the class. Uh huh. Everyone here with me. Can you please type in chat? You are with me. Please type in chat. You are with me. How many are with me? How many of you are with me? Yeah. Please type in chat box, please. Please type it that you know you are with me. You are with me. With you okay? Okay, it's good. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's move on. So now this is clear. Language translation completed for this one. Now I'll do a small play. Mm, so I want to make see required as well. So location description. What my customer is looking for. My customer is looking for even this field as well. Mandatory field. So how to do it? Now go to the uh, XML pad. So an XML pad simply type here true. That's it. Very simple. Sir, in Notepad plus plus, you have to write down entire syntax. But here it is very easy. Just maintain that's it. External code, name, description. First, these three fields completed. Cleared. Cleared. Now let's go to the status. Status is something that whether this location is active or not. So this is a, this field from SAP side. You cannot uh, you cannot disable this field. So always you have to use this field, okay? Have the same option, okay? And this field will have some a pick list as well, uh, but default pick list, uh, which uh, you know uh, never and ever make sure that this field never set from both to none. No, not possible. The system won't allow you. Always you have to keep this one as in both itself. Start date. So this is a start date. It's a true one. Just make it start date. So what is the next field? Uh, start date. This is status is done state and start date. So the start date also same SAP standard field. You cannot do anything. Let it be the same location group location group. And I want I want see it. It shouldn't be a mandatory field and it should be visible on system screen. So now what I'll do is uh, stand location group, right? So go to the system. Location group uh, end date. Yes, this end date field uh, the customer haven't written anywhere. 
status is completed start date is completed as uh, standard fields end date end date field is not required so that's the reason we mentioned here none n o n u none now go to location group yes another field if you want keep this field as both both means visibility and it's not a mandatory field so that's the reason required i haven't written anything just left the same thing i just leave it and go to the label and do we have any language translation for i mean do you have any customer label we don't have any customer label just leave it even don't touch this one and time zone time zone mandatory one and should be visible now go click on time zone mandatory one and visible one so it's a mandatory one time zone so make sure you have to write the time zone true mandatory and visible both and uh, there is no uh, custom label for the time zone Mm -hmm. customer have written but coming to the another one standard hours standard hours weekly hours a uh, customer said that he don't want to see on a, my system screen and also you don't want to see on um, mandatory field as well now what he has to do it for this one so here it was written as standard hours is a both so customer don't want to see this one let's make it none so this will won't be there on the system screen now it won't be there on the system screen so the problem is if i'm making this field as a none you know what happened uh the data this field can just lot much data lot much data lot much data lot much data so that's the reason uh what i'll do is i won't do any practical on this field let it be the same let it be the same both okay i'll tell you you know we never make them standard hours as a none for any customer we always keep them should be visible on the system screen this if i'm saying uh, just your practice purpose i'm keeping this from both to none which means this field will be disappeared from the system screen which i don't want because this is standard behavior this field should be visible on my system screen it's a mandatory field standard behavior should be the same now so here you can see custom string 1 custom string 2 3 4 5 6 7 like until 20 you can see after the custom string 20 you can see custom date 1 and you can see until 10 and you can see custom long 1 and custom double yes what all are these so these all are called custom strings custom fields let's say these are given sap free sap fields 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay okay and now sap said that they want to implement one more field that is location type a new field has to be involved in the system new field uh, where is this new field now again what you need to do is uh, page number uh, now what you need to do is let's make it whatever the uh, hidden fields let's make it visible custom string 1 to 20 custom string 1 to 20 up to custom string can be configured you can if you want you can use that okay now let's say custom string 1 i'm using custom string 1 uh, okay let me let me use it insert row okay and i'm using uh, custom string 1 this is success factor field and success factor label as well same custom string 1 and uh, and this field should be like a, a location type there is a new field okay this is a customer label and this is a mandatory field yes or no it's a mandatory field okay and this should be field should be visible on my system screen yes this is a custom field i want customer is asking this field so how i can do it now you have to go to the system screen now this is a custom string right make sure this one type as both visibility both okay and it is a mandatory field right so write down here true as well true and also label so this custom string should be maintained as a location type right so write down location type location type and this is a default english translation and give the other countries translation as well so what else other countries translation uh, english gbr countries translation custom string turn to in location type and uh, and other countries as well if you want you can write it okay and these are the changes which i have did it now what you need to do is you simply save these changes save it i always advise you make sure you should save it properly make sure you should save it save it clear saved now what you need to do is this is the configuration completed for xml configuration completed for xml now what you need to do is you need to import this xml document into the system there are two options option number 1 either you can import this 
XML document with the provisioning and the second thing is instance. So provisioning I'll sh I'll show you next. I already shown you in my previous class with the instance how we can do it. I'll show you now for the instance. If you want to do the import and export of corporate data model, you have to use a tool name. The tool name is import export corporate data model copy. Now go to the system and keep working. Now right click here type here import export corporate data model. <laughs> click this one. Now you can see here. Now import option and before whenever you import any data model into the system, the best practice is always download the I you know export the existing data model into the system. I have downloaded the data model. OK, now I'll start working on import process. Now browse it and uh, refresh it. And uh, this is the one I, am, I have used it. OK, right then this is the changes made as per initial design. OK, and simply say import. The naming convention should be like not like a two dot XML. It should be like same XML. So in so name dot XML the straight for one names. OK, now go to the system. Now go to the manage organization pay in job structure. If you want, you can place the command here itself or else you can type manually again as well. OK, I'm going to the this tool. Now either you can search with the existing fields whether the a field names has been changed or not. You can search here. Amsterdam, you can see here. Whatever the changes I did in my system. The system is loading. It will take some time. Just wait. We're doing a very very first time, right? Yes. I told you. Now see here the change is whatever it is. Location code, location name, location description, standard weekly hours, location type, zero zone, time zone, location. Same or not? Any questions on this? Sir, it's okay. These are the existing data. I want to see for my um, the star mark and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. If you want to see it, you can create a new data. How I can create a new data? Right click here and go to location. Now see here. First date location HR element updated effective date star mark. OK, star mark, star mark, star mark, status star mark, time zone star mark, location step star mark. See here star mark. And see here this is a location code where you can give some input. Visibility is equal to both means where we'll have a box. You can give the data. I'm sorry. OK, now see here. This is a location code. This location code contains. Um, only 32 characters, OK? If you want to test it, you can test it. See here. This is called unit testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 32, 33. See here. When I enter 33, system show me reach at the maximum limit. You cannot enter more than that. This is the way how it works out. This is called unit testing. Who has to do it? You has to, you have to do it. Once you did the changes, your peer will review them and he will say unit testing password. That's it. This is the way how to do it. Sir, how about the below one? 
these things, how to get this one? This one I'll tell you later on. We have a concept called association. On that time, I'll tell you. So this is the this is the one how we can configure the a foundation object called location. Clear? Anyone have any question on this one? On this object? Arun, do you have any question? Anyone stepped out from no, our meeting? No, Anyone stepped out from our meeting? I think Ratan yes. stepped out from the meeting. Okay. All right. So Shiv, Shiva, you have any question? No. Nagin, do you have any question? No, 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 no. Anyone have any question? No, sir. Before I wrap up today's session. No, sir. No, there's no, no question. Sir. Okay, all right. So then um, this is the way how to read. So what I advise you is please replicate the session. Okay, please replicate the session tonight. Maybe if you have a time, do it right now. Do it right now. Okay, do it right now. I'll tell you one more uh, for the visibility is equal to view. Sir, what happens? Uh, I'll show that one as well. Let's say here, uh, let me keep this one as a custom string, right? Let me keep this one visibility is equal to view. And the true, I'll make it this one as a false. OK. And I'm going to do save it again. Save it. Import data model. And again, import. Um, yes, save it. And say initial design. Part two. The invalid format specified. Yes, you know this is called an error. You have to resolve it. I'll tell you what was the error. You know the custom string defined HRS element location and said to be required as well in either visibility none or view. No, let me do it. We have to solve it. So how to solve it is. Uh, so first this is a loaded XML. Uh, visibility OK and custom string right? We're talking about custom string right now. Click this one. Go to custom string. Yes, this is a custom string. Mm, custom string one. Location type visibility is called view and required. Oh, I think it was not saved. Let me make this one as false. OK. Let me make this one as a false. OK. And visibility is equal to view, which means uh, which means what? Box will open nothing uh, apart from nothing. So first thing what you need to do is save this one, save it. And again, right click and save it. This is cleared. And what you need to do is that's a refresh the screen once. Import. Part two. And say import. See here completed. And what you need to do is refresh the page once, manage organization pane job structure, create a new which field we implemented, which HRS element, location HRS element. Now check it out. When you set visibility is equal to both, where you will get a box where you can give input. When you set visibility is equal to view, there you will get a box, but you cannot enter because it's just a view field. That's it. You know, system will take some time. Whenever you import the data model, the system will take some time. In that time, what you need to do is just refresh the screen. That's it. Apart from nothing, you need to do it. So let's go to the location again. Oh, you have to wait for it. I click here and so go to the location. Ah. So even the system is not coming, then what you need is you have to log off the system and you have to log in. There is no option. Again, I'm writing sales demo. I'm logging into my success factor system again. 
there's expected behavior okay don't worry that you know the change is i'm not able to see immediately don't worry okay it's a shared demo system it may take some time not only in a shared demo but also in your real time system as well don't do the change immediately 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 don't do it the system is not coming immediately don't do it you have to wait certain time okay see here now location type see here this is called when you set visibility is called view this visibility read only mode I have covered all the things I guess I have covered attributes. I have covered required is equal true. What happens when you said required is called false? What happened when I said visibility is equal none? What happened? The field won't be visible when you said visibility is called view. This is the result when you said visibility is equal to both. You will get the box where you can enter the data. That's it. So complete the transaction. OK, complete the HRIS uh, element for location. OK, in your own replicate the scenario and after completion of this session, what you need to do is please do the another example. So in this workbook, I'm sharing you for uh, another fields as well. We have a location group and we have a. Uh, other HRS elements like what? So here in the page you can see here um, the HRS element from the location group, geozone, location, pay range, band, Pay component, a pay component, pay band is nothing but uh, it's a uh, pay pay band. It's like a pay band, uh, which we renamed it. Uh, pay group, pay component group of frequency dynamic. No, okay, pay component group, pay component, pay range, pay group. This is a pay group, pay group, pay ray, not pay group. Sorry, this is something different. I forgot that name. Uh, pay range. Mm, uh, pay component, pay component group, and uh, what else? What was that? Another name? Um, pay grade. Yeah, pay grade. Correct. Band is pay grade. So I've been happy to for the band. So uh, let me. Yes, it's a pay grade. So you just, you know, you you people just go and work it out. Uh, if you are able, if you are comfortable to work on your own, you can do it. Let's say, let me or else I'll give it. So we have a fields location group. And location, of course, anyway, everyone has to do it. A location group rather than typing, what I'll do is I'll copy this data from my system. Anyone is volunteer here so that you know, they will do the, these examples. How many are ready to do the changes? Location, location group, zero zone. I location, I have already completed. But please replicate it, okay? Location group problem, you can do it. So anyway, you know, if you are, uh, maybe if you are interested, you can do the all the configuration. I'll share the workbook tonight itself. You can do the configuration, okay? And you, can, you have to do the configuration for all. What are location you have to do with the configuration location group zero zone and also few other elements I'll show you not only them but also like frequency pay grade pay component group <laughs> even for them as well you have to do the changes frequency pay grade pay range uh, band component group you know pay range in my system uh, pay grade in my system is called as a band if you want you can rename as a pay grade you just go ahead and next dynamic role workflow these three things are don't touch it okay these are standard one and these are miscellaneous one different one don't touch it okay just work on these these elements only not more frequency also you can ignore it you cannot do anything with the frequency just these three elements and uh, pay grade pay range pay compound pay compound four four and three seven so seven hrs elements are there as a foundation object where you have to work on so i'm i'll be sharing this workbook and try to do the configuration on your system okay Right. Anyone have any question before I wrap up my session tonight? No question. No question. No question. So then if you don't have any question, then I'll take a sign off quick sign off and uh, we'll catch up tomorrow morning and tomorrow morning. As I told you already, uh, we'll give a time to Vera. Vera, you please replicate the session tomorrow morning for the first 10 minutes. Try to make it in 10 minutes, complete the session. 
okay yes, sir. and i'll complete yes, my next session and uh, tomorrow is wednesday right wednesday we i will take it and thursday and what are the session i'm going to take on wednesday and gauri please replicate the session on thursday give us a demo okay 28th thursday no oh, okay right. and 29 yeah and 29th if anyone wants to take it up they can take it up 29th 28th 28th night whatever i have whatever i am covering you can complete on those assignments on and you can show and present on 29th as well anyone who volunteer can come and call me right and this is for tonight and i would like to take a sign off and i will catch you tomorrow morning hey this is sap standard practice we are doing okay and once you are done this one and i'll share a real time customer data model a real time customer workbook you have to do it on your system and you have to showcase all these kind of assignments in a document in word document you have to place the screenshots with the screenshots you have to place. this is a home assignment which i'll give you on the weekend time but those who completed sap assignment those guys only will get the a real time customer assignment this is the uh, a disclaimer a star mark it's a mandatory one because you are not completing the sap standard workbook then waste of giving the customer real time example as well in my thought so first complete the real uh, sap standard best practice document then wait for uh, my uh, another customer uh, document okay that's it so that's it for now it's a long session we had it and uh, try to replicate in your system and hopeful and i hope anyone anyone having still trouble on login success factor system you can reach me on my whatsapp number i'll share and tomorrow is the day where we'll discuss a couple of interview questions as well on the data model thank you so much and take care and good night bye bye